Good afternoon, Rebels. It's your path, Covalent. Ryan Stahl with an end to the school year update. Boom, Shakalaka. Take that on a graduation tip. I'd like to say thank you to all the administration, faculty, friends, and relatives that have supported us through these years. I have had many teachers over my years at Stark County, but I have had three that really went above and beyond that I want to recognize here. I'd like to thank Mr. Wagner for always being willing to take extra time to help us out, and especially for volunteering his time to tutor me through a college math course. Thank you, Mr. Wagner, for all your help. I'd also like to thank Mr. Lowry for being one of the most engaging teachers that I've ever had. I'm honored that you chose to leave Stark County with our class. Brookfield's getting one of the best. <laughs> Going back to junior high, I would like to thank Ms. Workman for being strict and making sure that we were confident in our English skills. After her class, all of our English classes seemed easy. I would also like to thank my legs for always holding me up, my arms, for always being at my side, and my neck, for always holding my head up. <laughs> Last, I would like to thank Google, Wikipedia, and whoever it was that invented copy and paste, because without them, none of this would ever have been possible. <laughs> In high school, we often felt compelled to know all the answers right away. It can be difficult and downright frustrating to have to admit incompetence in front of our peers. I struggled with this issue during high school myself. But it's okay to not know the answer to something. It's okay to say, I don't know. I'll get back to you on that. For example, when your parents ask you when you're finally going to move out of their house and stop eating all of their food, it's okay to say, I don't know. I'll get back to you on that. Also. We need to learn to be decisive in our lives. Right or wrong, we're going to have to make a decision at some point. The road of life is paved with flattened squirrels that couldn't make a decision. Now I realize most of us won't be standing in the middle of a road with a car hurtling towards us, I hope. But the idea still stands. We need to be decisive and take control of our lives because we only get one shot. In spite of that, we also need to learn to be able to accept things that we cannot control. For example, only about a month ago, I was set to perform a major part in the musical. This is my only chance to have a major part, as my junior year's musical had been canceled. Then I was pulled from class and sent home due to contact tracing. My heart goes out to all the students here and from last year who lost their once-in-a-lifetime high school experiences due to COVID. It's hard to accept the loss of something that we felt was a big part of our life, and I feel the pain of everyone here who has lived through that. I also implore all of us to be willing and ready to stand up for others. As someone who was occasionally bullied in high school, I can attest that it means a lot when someone's willing to go against the crowd and stand up for you. Our society doesn't often tend to recognize the effects of bullying or take an effective stance on it, but I'm asking you to change this. I'm calling on you all to make it popular to stand up for others. As we prepare to go our separate ways, we often act like this is goodbye forever, but it really isn't. This is, see you all in a few years when I'm significantly wealthier, smarter, and hopefully maybe even just a little bit more mature than I am now. <laughs> However, over the course of those few years, I know I'm, gonna, I'm still gonna miss all of you. Well, most of you, <laughs> some of you. Okay, fine, maybe just a few of you. Before I close, I'd like to leave you with a couple of thoughts. First, I wish there was a way to know you were in the good old days before you realized that you were leaving them. Also, if you can find a path without obstacles, it probably isn't going to lead anywhere. Don't be afraid to try new things and take the difficult road. That being said, I'm going back to my parents' basement. Thank y'all for coming. Y'all have a great time.
Once again, please give a nice round of applause for our perfect 4.0.